Hi, I'm Ted Bollinger with TVS Pro, and this presentation will introduce you to the five secrets of getting the best picture quality. Whether you're evaluating a new projector or a flat panel, or if you just want to get the best image quality out of your existing display, these five secrets will help you to understand and know how to do that. In fact, this image that you're seeing here is actually a projected image with a lot of lights on in this room. When you understand the five secrets of getting the best picture quality, you'll understand how this is possible and how you might be able to apply it in your situation. The first secret to picture quality is image intensity or brightness, but this is not the same as the brightness control on your television set or projector. What we're talking about is the overall intensity of the image. In a flat panel, this is referred to in nits. In a projector, it's lumens. So on the right, we have a projector that's outputting almost twice the intensity of the projector on the left. Notice which one your eye goes to. If I go to the menu of the projector on the left and I go down to brightness, if I bring the brightness up, it may appear a little bit brighter, but actually watch what happens to the picture you should be able to see that the picture now looks very flat and washed out. So you don't want to try to improve your picture quality by bringing the brightness up. Unless, of course, someone had already turned it down to where it was too low. Normally, there's a midpoint position that you want to put this. In our blog, we'll tell you in detail, especially in the downloadable PDF, exactly how to set this. But here you can see the importance and why manufacturers charge according to the intensity of their image. Contrast is one of the things that gives us the higher quality image and our eye perceives better depth, better clarity, and just simply a better image. The, the image that we're looking at here is of two astronauts. This is a NASA photo in, in space. You can see the Earth in the background. But yet in this settings that we've done on the projector, you can see that it doesn't really have much depth to the image. It looks very flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already preset inside our color modes here. So with one change of the menu, we've now got an image. Now I'm going to go back so you can again see the image. This is low contrast. This is high contrast. Hopefully you can see the difference that that's making. It's very dramatic to the eye. That's what we want. We now have black that looks like space and we have more depth and detail in the midtones to the image. So contrast is very important. Probably next to intensity and color, contrast is going to be very significant to your selection of a projector or a flat panel, or if you just want to get the best out of your existing display, understanding and adjusting contrast is very important. So to understand contrast and how it affects the picture quality, we're going to go into the menu and show you how we achieve those two different levels and where you should adjust your, your uh, flat panel or projector. So in this case, this projector has different menus under the color mode. And notice here we have brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint. Those are all factory settings at 50. And this projector is pretty much dead on in those positions. What we did to show the low contrast was we went into a different color mode and notice that our settings here, brightness is very high, 96. But remember, brightness really affects the blacks of the picture. That's why our space now is washed out. It doesn't have that deep look of space. Now contrast, which does affect contrast, but it affects the white parts of the picture the most. So we've brought that down. So what we have is a very flat picture. Now, if we go back up to color mode, I'll show you the other extreme because you don't want to do that either. Here, what we've done I mean, let me turn this menu off. That is great contrast. It's excellent contrast, but it's a terrible picture. Why? Because our brightness is so low that it's destroying the detail in the black. So you can have too much black in terms of it starts to cut off the detail in the dark parts of the picture. Conversely, the whites, if we go back up here, notice that our contrast is all the way up. And so we're not getting some of the detail in the highlights of the image, although because our brightness is so low, it's really it kept it from that. So going back up here to our best contrast is in this mode. Now you'll notice you can see detail in the gold areas of the picture, the mid-tones. You can see detail on the bright parts of the astronaut's spacesuits. 
And that's the way contrast should be. Give us depth, give us detail, but be able to preserve the integrity of the image. This demonstrates the application and use of good contrast. This also answers the question that we posed at the beginning of this presentation, how we're able to get a good quality image in a lighted room using a projector. On the right side, we're using a special screen. This is called an ambient light screen. It rejects most of the light bouncing off angles in this room. On the left is a conventional white screen. Well, with lights on, the whites in the picture are going to be bright, but the blacks cannot be black because a projector cannot project black. So here we're using a, a high ambient light screen to give us the blacks in the image and we can see detail and we can see people, but on the left it's washed out. This is a practical application of using good contrast. The third secret to getting the best image quality or picture quality is the color. It's probably one of the most misunderstood and usually gets overshadowed by brightness, which we've already talked about, and contrast. But color is what gives us the reality or the realism to the, to the actual image we're watching. Here we have two images which have, they're, they're both the same image from the source, but as you can see, each of these projectors is displaying it very differently. And there's reasons for that, which we'll explore a little bit later on. But the thing to understand with color is that color starts with a good black and white image, which we'll take a look at now. Good color actually starts with a good black and white image. Here you see two images, both of them the same brightness, both of them the same contrast, but the image on the left does not have good, what we call color balance or white balance. On your display or set, or perhaps you're looking at a new projector or flat panel, you want to make sure that it has the ability to adjust what is normally referred to as white balance. Sometimes they call it pitcher temperature, and it'll have a temperature of cool, medium, and low. For good motion picture reproduction and skin tone reproduction, you want to be in medium or low, not high. In terms of color temperature, some sets, especially projectors, have the ability to set in degrees, and the degrees we're looking for in motion picture reproduction is 6,500 degrees. Now we're going to take a look at what happens if you have this kind of white balance, which the one on the left is much greener than the one on the right. Now we're going to look at a skin tone and see how that affects it. So here's the actual effect or what happens when your color temperature is off. We are feeding it again identical images, but the image on the left is very cold and green. It doesn't have the warmth that the image on the right does. And again, this is nothing to do with color adjustments per se. This is not color level. This is not color hue. This is color temperature. This is a, a key secret that is overlooked in many displays. So make sure when you're evaluating a projector or a flat panel that it has this adjustment. In most stores, it's going to come out of the box in a very cold color temperature, very similar to the one on the left, and you're not going to get the reproduction that you could be getting unless it has the ability to make those controls yourself. So many of the new TVs have all these automatic circuits and you just get to take what it gives you, whereas you want to make sure that the set you're looking at or the projector has the ability to adjust this so you can get the very best, best picture. And the position you want, again, is in the middle or low color temperature. And if it's in degrees, you want to be at 6,500 degrees, which we are on the right. On the left, we're over 9,500 degrees, which is causing this image to be very cold and blue.